What if you ran across a classic car that was for sale by the original owner and at a very affordable price and it looked like it just rolled off the showroom floor? Then I've got one of those cars for you here tonight. Also in this video, I've got you nine other very affordable classic cars up for sale and all these are from the great state of Illinois. So let's check these rides out tonight and let's get into the video. Hello American Rod Shop family. Welcome back into another episode of American Rod Shop. My name is Solon and in tonight's video I've got for you 10 very affordable classic cars that are all very nice and they're ones I think you would love to buy. Now all these cars showcased tonight are coming from the great state of Illinois. So let's go ahead without further ado and check out car number one. 1975 Pontiac Ventura two-door listed in St. Charles, Illinois that's been marked down from $14,000 to $12,500. Up for sale by the third owner is this very nice white 1975 Pontiac Ventura that is titled as a 1976 based on the time of the year during manufacturing. It runs and drives great and has an original 62,529 miles on the factory 350 V8 engine. The body is solid and rust-free, and the white paint displays well. It has recently received many upgrades and replacements, such as an all-new interior, new distributor cap, new spark plugs and wires, new front calipers, new rotors, new rear drum brakes, new steering box, new chrome wheels and rally tires, new seat belts, new chrome gauges, new dash pad, and many, many more items too many to list here in this ad. All the rubber door seals have been replaced, including the trunk seal and both windshield seals have been resealed. A lot of work has been done for a very low asking price of $12,500 or best offer for this 1975 Pontiac Ventura two-door sedan. Okay guys, there is a video in this ad of this car. I could not get it to play, so I was unable to use it. But it offers a wider look at the car body and everything. Uh, for some reason, he didn't take a lot of pictures overall of the car, like uh, from a distance where you can see the whole body. But it looks really good in the video. Uh, it's a good car, I think, for the price. These kind of run right along with those 74 and 75 Novas. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I would like to mention real quick, if you find a car in this video that you would like to check out, all you have to do is go to this video's description, click on the word more, and when the description expands downward, find that car and then click on the link underneath that car and it'll take you straight to the ad where this car is at for sale. Number two, 1965 Ford Thunderbird listed in Schaumburg, Illinois, marked down from 15000 to 13000 up for sale is this blue 1965 Ford Thunderbird, which is in exceptional condition for its age. It is powered by the original 390 engine with a four-barrel carburetor and coupled to the original Cruzomatic transmission, and it runs and drives great. This car has an original 60,000 miles on it, and it came from the factory with a lot of perks such as power steering, power brakes, and cruise control. Everything electrical works good with the exception of a couple of interior lights that needs to have the bulbs replaced. The paint displays well, but the body has a couple of dings here and there. The original interior looks very nice for its age and is very comfortable to ride in. This car has received a lot of upgrades in the last two years, such as a new battery, new muffler system, a rebuilt AM FM radio with Bluetooth, new brakes and a new steering box, new rear springs, and four new tires with more items way too many to list here this is a fun great daily driver or a good car to cruise into the car shows asking 13,000 or best offer 
And guys, these Thunderbirds, some of these years' models, are starting to creep up. They're becoming more and more popular to collect. A lot of them for a while was very reasonable, but I think you're going to see a trend upward in these car models. Okay, we'll pause right here for a moment of refreshment for a little segment I called AI Did That, in which people on the internet input ideas for classic cars from the 1950s that actually do not exist, never have been produced, and never were real. And tonight's feature is the 1955 Grayson Roadster, a beautiful body with classic designs from the 1950s for Roadster models. I think it's just gorgeous. Guys, tell me what you think about it in the comments. Number three, 1959 Ford Edsel Ranger, listed in Glen Ellen, Illinois, marked down from 12,500 to 11,500. Up for sale is this 1959 Edsel Ranger two-door hardtop that has received a very nice mild custom. It is powered by the original 292 Y-Block and ford Omatic transmission and runs and drives great. The engine was rebuilt with a mild cam about seven years ago, and this awesome Ford sounds good and runs and drives great. The following items have been added or updated during the customization, which include being lowered, given a tri-power intake, lake pipes, power brakes, new brakes, lines, hoses, and wheel cylinders, new dual exhaust with Flowmaster mufflers, bias ply-wide white walls, gas tank has been restored, new fuel sending unit, and a reproduction classic car stereo, new carpet, new headliner, new interior panels, and a new radiator. The body does have some light rust spots, but the floors and the trunk area are solid. 60s era seat covers are good shape, the seller is asking $11,500 or best offer, and it comes with a clean title. And guys, as the years goes on, I find myself loving Edsel's more and more. It's one of those cars you either love it or you hate it. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. Moving right along with number four. 1960 Studebaker Lark 6 Station Wagon, listed in Barrington, Illinois, for $12,000. For sale is a rare blue 1960 Studebaker Lark 6 Station Wagon that has undergone a complete frame-off restoration. This car runs, drives, and stops with no issues and is ready to be driven home. The seller has over 100 photos documenting the restoration process, including before and after shots, which can be provided to serious buyers. The station wagon has 89,000 original miles and is equipped with the original inline six engine and a three speed manual transmission. The restoration included a new repaint for the solid rust free body, as well as a restoration of the interior with matching blue upholstery and new blue carpet. Any defective window glass was replaced and all wiring was checked for functionality. This is a fun car to drive and a great family outing vehicle. The seller is asking $12,000 or best offer for this 1960 Studebaker Lark 6 station wagon. Guys, I love these station wagons. Let me know what you think in the comments. Number 5, 1970 Cadillac Fleetwood Brom. Listed a week ago in Chicago, Illinois for $9,900. Up for sale by the original owner is this immaculate red on red 1970 Cadillac Fleetwood Brom four-door sedan with an original 80,000 miles on it and the original mileage log book comes with it. This car has always been garage kept and well maintained and is evident by the photos and the beautiful original red leather interior. This cool caddy runs and drives great and there's a video in the ad of the owner driving it down the street. 
Everything on this car is perfect, is 100% original, and has always been pampered by the owner. It is powered by the original 425 cubic inch V8 engine, coupled up to the automatic transmission, and this car runs and drives like a dream. Everything on this car works as it should. Nothing needs to be done except to give it a loving home. The seller is asking an extremely low 9900 or best offer, and he is motivated to sell, and this car comes with a clean title. This Caddy is my favorite car in all of the video. It's got extreme documentation to go with it. I think it's a great deal. Let me know what you guys think. Welcome to the It Came From The Internet segment in which I try to feature the wildest, craziest hot rod or classic car or show car I can see on the internet for sale this week. And I chose this one because I loved building these type cars from model cars when I was a kid. And that's what this one reminded me of. It's a 1927 Ford Rat Rod with a big block blown engine in it. It's got a 454 big block with 671 blower. It's got dual 650 Edelbrock carbs, Sanderson Street Rod headers, MSD distributor, K&N Velocity Stack air filters, an aluminum radiator with a thermo cap. It has an electric fan for the radiator. 10 gallon aluminum fuel cell. Mini steering wheel, convertible pullback top, LED tail lights. This thing's just got everything you can think of. The list is way, way, way long on it. I think it's a great build. I think it's a sharp rat rod. You guys tell me what you think about it. And like I said before, it just reminds me of model cars that I used to build from scrap model car kits. Now the seller is asking $37,000 for this car. And if you're interested in it, I'll put the link over in the description. And it's located in Fife, Alabama, about uh, probably an hour and a half from where I live at. But let me know what you think about it. Like I said before in the earlier video, rat rods is one of those things people either love them or they hate them. But I think this was pretty nice. Let me know what you think about it. Now, if you haven't done so yet, please like, subscribe, and share. It won't cost you a dime, but it'll help the algorithm and help this little channel to grow. And be sure to turn on that notification bell because you want to get notified when the next video drops so you have the earliest access possible to these great cars that are up for sale. Okay, we officially passed the halfway mark with number six. 1954 Pontiac Star Chief Catalina Hardtop. Listed in Round Lake, Illinois, marked down from 12500 to 11250 up for sale is this two-toned orange and white rare 1955 Pontiac Star Chief Catalina hardtop coupe that not only looks very nice for its age, but runs and drives great. This car has been garage kept and well maintained, as you can tell by the physical appearance of the car, which includes the original orange paint on a very solid body with no rust. Despite its age, the paint still displays well and the body does have a few minor dings, as can be expected with a car from this era. It is powered by the original inline eight cylinder engine coupled up to the original automatic transmission. The chrome on this car still displays well and the interior is solid and all there with good solid floor pans underneath. But the front seat could use a recover in the driver's seat area. All glass is good and everything works electrically as it should. If you're looking for a car that needs very little restoration effort to make it into a classic cruiser, then this is one for you. The seller is asking $11,250 or best offer for this 1954 Pontiac Star Chief Catalina Hardtop Coupe. I love this body style. I would love to own this car. Let me know what you think about it. Moving right along with number seven. 1948 Buick Super Sedan, listed in Barrington, Illinois, for $11,500. Up for sale by its elderly owner is this nice blue 1948 Buick Super 50 Series four-door sedan. It has a very solid, rust-free body that is in excellent condition. The very nice blue paint still displays well, but does need some touch-up in a few small areas. This car was given an amateur restoration not too long ago, and it runs and drives good. 
During the restoration process, the engine was swapped out with a 1949 Buick engine with a three-speed manual transmission on the column. This engine does have a small coolant leak which needs to be repaired to ensure reliability. The current motor has approximately 65,000 miles on it and the seller has also a spare 1949 engine to go with it should you ever need an extra one. A new wire harness was installed and it comes with the original owner's manual. As mentioned earlier, the seller is elderly and is no longer able to drive and enjoy the car and is therefore motivated to sell, asking $11,500 or best offer. Number 8. 1928 Ford Model A 2-door, listed in New Berlin, Illinois for $12,000. Up for sale is this very nice black 1928 Ford Model A 2-door sedan that starts right up and drives great. This car received a restoration not many years back and it has always been garage kept ever since then. Restoration process included a restored interior with classic gray fabric that was kept along the lines of the original interior design. The solid straight rust free body was given a nice gloss black paint job to match the color of the cars from that era. It was accented with yellow paint on the wire rims to give it that total vintage look. It is powered by the original L-head inline four-cylinder engine, which provides 40 horsepower with a decent, steady top speed of around 50 miles per hour. This car is a very fun car to drive and to take to shows where, as always, any early model Fords will always draw a crowd, especially one in this condition. The seller is asking $12,000 or best offer for this 1928 Ford Model A two-door sedan. We've got two more cars to go in the showcase, but if by the end of this video you haven't found the car that you've been dreaming of, then I advise you to check out these other four videos that I dropped here in the past week. There's still a lot of great cars in those videos for sale, and who knows, you just might find your classic dream car in one of those videos. Now let's check out car number 9, 1964 AMC Rambler 660 Station Wagon listed in Monroe Center, Illinois for $12,000. Up for sale is this very cool, awesome, turquoise 1964 Rambler 660 cross-country station wagon that runs and drives as it should. It is powered by a 287 V8 coupled up to a manual transmission with three on the tree shifting and also overdrive. This is overall a solid body car with no dents, but does have some rust in the quarter panels and it needs a paint job if desired. New items installed or updated includes the following, new front disc brakes, electric ignition, new Holley carburetor, and a new matching set of tires. This car has an original 57,000 miles on it and it runs and drives so well that you can buy it and drive it home. If you are looking for a cool vehicle that makes a great classic family cruiser or a daily driver, then this is the one for you. The seller is asking $12,000 or best offer. Number 10, 1940 Plymouth two-door, listed in Georgetown, Illinois for $12,000. Up for sale is this all-original two-toned red and black 1940 Plymouth two-door sedan that has been driven an original 42,000 miles. It is powered by the original inline 201.3 cubic inch six-cylinder engine and manual transmission, and it runs and drives great. It has been completely restored for just a few short years back and has been garage kept ever since. During the restoration process, this beautiful classic received a beautiful red and black gloss paint job over a super straight and rust free body. All the chrome was re chromed or polished, and new glass was installed along with new wiring. A beautiful period correct tan colored velour upholstered interior was installed that really goes well with the exterior paint. All is complete and finished and at a very low asking price that will allow you to start showing and driving it right off the bat. The seller is asking for a low $12,000 or best offer, looking for serious inquiries only, and it comes with a clean title for this 1940 Plymouth two-door sedan. And guys, I think this car is beautiful. Let me know what you think about it. Okay, guys and gals, be sure to drop in the comments what was your favorite car in the showcase lineup tonight. I'd love to hear what everybody's got to say. Don't forget about American Rod Shop, Big Fun Night number four that's going to be going on 
uh, in the next week. Turn on your notification bell so you get notified when that happens. It's going to be a lot of fun. We got giveaways, we got trivia, we got the fantasy demo derbies. Be a lot of fun for everybody. And if you're looking for a great gift item, don't forget to check out the American Rod Shop store. The link is in the description. There you can find great t shirts, mugs, and a lot of other great items. The sale of these items all goes back into supporting this channel. Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and share button. I love you all. I'll see you guys and gals in the next upcoming video.